Stacer for DietsReview.com and I'm here today to show you how to make a delicious, nutritious fruit smoothie. The first thing you need to start with is your base. You can make a milk-based smoothie or you can make a juice-based smoothie. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use the V8 Fusion Juice. What you want to look for is a juice that is free of high fructose corn syrup, any added sugars, just 100% juice. I like this juice that has fruits and vegetables in it, but as long as it's 100% juice with no sugars, you should be good to go. Cup, cup and a half of juice, or milk if you want to do a milk-based smoothie. Then you, you add your fruit, and you can make any choices that you like. You could do strawberry banana, you could do strawberry blueberry, um, for this smoothie, this is a peach mango juice, so I'm going to use peaches and mangoes. Probably a half a cup of each fruit choice. I like to use two or three fruits. And some people even put spinach in their smoothies. I'm not a fan of that, but I know some people are. So you have your fruit choices. Uh, you can add peanut butter. Um, chocolate and peanut butter is especially good together. You could use um, a banana in that smoothie. Chocolate, peanut butter, banana is a good choice. Um, add your protein powder. I usually use a vanilla protein powder. It has a little bit, it's not quite as strong of a flavor. The chocolate protein is pretty strong. So a scoop, I use the scoop that comes with the protein powder. One scoop. And you can also add flaxseed here or flaxseed oil. Um, a lot of people will, will like to add that. And then put a lid on it. Blend it up, and the good thing about the using the frozen fruit versus the fresh fruit is you don't need any ice, and it blends smooth. It doesn't leave any kind of a grainy texture. So blend it up, pour it out, and you've just made yourself a delicious, nutritious snack that's filling, low in fat, and low in calories. For Diets Review, I'm Carmen Stacer. Have a nice day.